7. Islam teaches the ethic of monotheism, the oneness and unity of God. Islam forbids the association of partners with him, whether in belief or in worship. Islam teaches that Allah, the unique Arabic name for God, is the one and unique eternal God, the one who neither begets nor is born. There is very simply nothing like him. Islam teaches that one should live a righteous life with God consciousness in mind and in heart, always following God's laws. The one who does so will live in paradise eternally in the hereafter. The one that does not could be thrown in the hellfire. This edict has always served as the universal message of all the previous prophets sent by God, thus fulfilling the natural predisposition and inclination of the soul in every person. The Holy Quran teaches that the signs and proofs of God's wisdom, existence and power are always evident and visible in the world around us. One cannot be a Muslim if they do not believe in all of God's previous books and his messengers and prophets. Numerous prophets precede Prophet Muhammad, as do previous scriptures including the Gospel and the Torah. However, the messages of the past prophets are not available in their entirety as their original form was lost. The present day Bible and the Torah texts have been altered, distorted, and changed during the last centuries. So they contain the words of man, not the divine being. Since human hands have altered the older scriptures, the Bible and the Torah of today, as they are published currently, do not comprise their exact original texts in their pure, unfettered form. God sent Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, 600 years after the coming of Prophet Jesus, intending him as the world's last and final prophet, one sent with the final testament, the Holy Quran. Both were meant to serve all of mankind until the last day. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, did not come bearing a new religion. Rather, he came to correct and renew some deviations in monotheism during a time when the world lived in darkness. God the Almighty sent his final messenger to guide humanity to a better place in faith. Since the Holy Quran is the final testament of God the Almighty, God has taken it upon